Artemis Titanic's maiden voyage can finally begin. After years of construction, months of fitting out, and sea trials among other mishaps, she could finally disembark her voyage to New York. Titanic stayed at Southampton Docks for over six days, and in those six days, a few famous photographs were taken, such as this famous photograph of her fully dressed, and the term dressed in maritime history basically means putting up every single signal flags, normally any flag to communicate with, and also the pilot jack up. This would only happen in special occasions, such as celebrating something or an anniversary of sorts. In Titanic's case, Titanic's maiden voyage. Another second less famous photograph of her was taken across the docks where she was docked at. There's not much to talk about in this photograph, so I'll just move on. And then there's this photograph, taken by someone likely on a boat approaching where Titanic was docked at. And finally, the last two photographs that are probably the most famous photos of Titanic ever taken. The first image shows Titanic departing Southampton docks. The second photo shows Titanic leaving Southampton docks at a different angle. Not long before these two famous photos were taken, another set of photos were taken. One of these photos is the SS New York near collision photo. This event could have ended or even delayed Titanic's maiden voyage again. But thanks to the quick actions of the tugboats, this prevented Titanic having a collision with SS New York. You'd think that some of the passengers would have seen the writing at the wall, but they didn't. And with that, Titanic was on its way to Cherbourg, France. She arrived at Cherbourg at approximately April 10th, 1912 at 6.35 p.m. She stayed there for an hour and a half. While she was there, 281 passengers embarked on board during on this stopover while only 24 passengers got off at Cherbourg. Right afterwards, she proceeded to head to Queenstown, Ireland. She arrived there the next day at April 11, 1912. She dropped anchor at Roaches Point, or Roaches Point, which is now called Cub. This was its final port before she headed out to New York City. Only 7 people got off at Queenstown, while 123 passengers got on at Titanic at Queenstown, most of them third class. Once that was all and over with, she departed Ireland and Britain one last time with 2,240 passengers on board. The first 3 days of the voyage were uneventful. But the fourth day would change all of that and make Titanic a legend.